Hello and welcome to this, the Zero AD Champions Cup. We have Brightons versus Brightons this time, and Feldfeld is in the blue and Borg is in the red. Starting off with six ladies, whereas Feldfeld is doing exact same thing? Yeah. Six and then two. Some dog scouting. The Borg. And dog camel herding for Feldfeld. I don't think I've ever actually seen that before. I've seen elephants. Elephant herding. Perhaps Borg was attempting to do a similar thing, but could not find any camels to herd. Four slingers coming out. Feld's got four ladies. Total unit composition right now. One, two, two, seventeen. One, ten, two, ten. Very women heavy in the early game at the moment for Feld Feld. There's a camel. Far away. Can't be hurting a camel all the way from the other. Well, that's probably good actually. Herd the enemy's camels over to your base before you herd your camels over. Go get their elephants. Instead of focusing on getting your own elephants. Ladies idle for merely a second. Keeping all the ladies on one wood and all the men on another wood. Patch. The dog has been slung. Slingers coming over now, which Borg will see quite soon. Three bet, three, two, one. Slingers? No. Where are they? Ah, you see, he's being, he's not even attacking. He's, he's being, being sneaky. Borg has noticed. The dock. You'll need to He may need to uh, take control of this water zone or use the fact that Feldfeld has used a bunch of wood to gauge that perhaps he has spent more wood on units than Feldfeld and could easily attack. 
DST? 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 Feld Feld is shooting arrows at some lions DST? from a boat. DST? Dropping some wood. Oh, he's seen the he's seen Borg slingers coming in. Manual garrisoning. No bell. That way, the only units that are being garrisoned are the ones that were in the line of fire, and the ones that are back behind can still farm. I actually really like that a lot. DST. DST. I like DST. that a lot. DST. 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 Yes, Borg has some ladies yes, going up yes, there, but perhaps a bit of missed micro yes, there. Swinging up to this house. I mean, uh, destroying a house comes with a bounty, doesn't it? Like, if you took it over and destroyed it, you wouldn't get the 10 loot. Is that how that works? Whereas if you destroy it manually, you do? I don't know. I will have to experiment with that. It would make sense. You shouldn't get loot from destroying your own buildings. Only the enemy. Formating. Getting into formation. Is that the present tense of formation? Formating. Becoming a formation. Form formating. Taking over and shooting. And taking over. Boom. That's one house gone. How's um? He's not popcapped anyway, so it's not too much of a hassle. It's a little bit of a hassle. But mm. Borg has seen almost the entire map at one point or another, whereas Feld is content to stay to his little zone over here and Garrison his units where appropriate and just let let his uh, doc do the work. He's taken a few of the the ladies out over here. Ten ahead in population. I also see that down here. DST, 
Moving the men around, posturing, just posturing. He's just saying to Feldfeld, Feld, you're not coming out over here. I'm over here and you can just stay back there, mate. You can just you just sit in your house. Farm your farms with your farm farming. Chopping your wood. Go on then, mate, with your wood. If you garrison units, do they automatically deposit? Because I've always been clicking to deposit um, resources and then garrisoning. But if you garrison something, a worker who has resource carrying resources into a building which can be used as a drop site for resources, do they automatically drop them in? Man, that was a sentence. I think they do. Yeah, I think they full do away. Yeah, okay, I remember that. That's actually useful. Just posturing. Just patrolling. Just... A, a man barrier. He has created a man barrier. Wall of man wall. Wall of men. Twenty-one horses. Almost twenty ahead in population. That's almost how much ahead in population he is right here. This these horses. Almost. Feld sending men to the middle. Oh, he has his spearmen right up where these horses are. He could get a few of them. Hmm. There is just a lot going on. There are many things happening. Just here, look, he's, he's, what he's saying is, I'm here, and you're not here. You may have the water, but you're not going to have either side of it. You can have the middle. You can have the middle, and kind of a bit on the, ed in the edge there. But, um, edge? How can you have an edge of a circle? Your daddy math question. Logic question. The answer is zero. Um, he's going for his own. What? It's a field field raiding as well. Just a little, a little raid. It's just a scouting raid. Take that camel while you're there. Take that food. No, he's doing something else. Just having a poke around. Eight slingers here collecting. You could probably oh. Oh, no vision of that. If he had the vision of that, he may have wanted to just get. Oh, well. <laughs> it wouldn't have done much for him because these boats, he can just garrison inside of the boat. Yes, 
Interesting. So Borg can see this the whole time, knows where the men are. The men are back out. Out and about. He's just cordoned him off. He's like witch's hats or something. Oh, I forgot you did. I think it's only Australia that calls them that. Um, the roadside cones. The orange cones? We call them witch's hats. I don't know why. They kind of look like a witch's hat, but orange and not like with floppy. Um, that's what he's being right now. <laughs> witch's hats. That's where my Australian accent comes out when I'm saying an Australian yes, word yes, or phrase. You know, which is that? Yes, yes, <laughs> Just don't pronounce the H word whatsoever. Yes, so what H? Yes, there ain't no H there. Don't know what you're talking about. Yes, oh, what was this? Oh, a dock. Was it Borg? I think it was probably Borg's dock trying to come down. Maybe trying to sneak a dock in. No, I, I have no idea. Temple, racks. I mean, for 16. This is 16 minutes into the game, and look at this. Each guy has not much. Buildings. How about that for a sentence? It's pretty good. The, uh, the, uh... This is supposed to be Empire's Ascendant. They're not really ascending very high. <laughs> they're just kind of sat there. Just sat there. I mean, with all this aggression from Borg, Feldfeld has only had the opportunity to go in and out and in and out. Whereas, at the same time, Borg hasn't had men collecting resources and building things. He's still just eh, 10, 20 population ahead though now. 80, 90, yeah. Just give me a second while I math. Oh, two I oh, I was going to say they are idle and not doing anything and it's not good enough. But then they did. Dude, drop the wood off before you go in there. Oh, who knows how long you're going to be in there. Whatever. Oh. going up now, but barely. Yep, too late to run. It's time to fight. What are those ladies doing? Could have missed micro, perhaps. Another boat out now. <laughs> Those horses were there and then they weren't. <laughs> a little bit second later. Wow, they must have all been very low. Or maybe I wasn't concentrating enough. I swear, <laughs> I swear there were heaps of horses. He moved the camera for like one second, he moved it back, and there were no horses. So it's um, it's good. There's some more. Oh no, the horses just went away. They didn't. Right. Okay. <laughs> they, were, they were just over here. 
Ah, oh dear. I was, I was about to be very confused. Yes, see, yes, see, yes, see, yes, see, catching up in population, yes, all doing yes, some little yes, things over here. Yes, Another big mess. It's about half and half. Slingers and uh, skirmishers. Or were they um, skirmishers, but the other one were perhaps spearmen, sorry. Yeah. I meant, I meant spearmen. Oh, there's a deer there. Oh, dear. Going to stage three. Hogs still sitting on two. Mm -hmm. Going to adjust. The angle now. Now that we've entered the late game, <laughs> it doesn't really look much like the late game, but it's got to be really on a map like this. City face, we're filled, filled. Still behind in population, and Borg still all over the map. in the mid this is look at all this he can have this whole zone here he bog kind of has a zone kind of People, or he took down over here a tower. Oh, yes, and he... Yes, 
certainly is happening. It certainly is. There's a triangle. Triangle of units. It was. Oh, positioning. Field field. Positioning behind. Cutting off the escape route. Something's happening, finally. It's been 25 minutes and something's happening. Uh, uh. <laughs> it's exciting. Here it is. This is it. Hold on. Let's just leisurely this out for a sec. This is it. This is the fight. This is the battle. For sure. For sure this is it. Oh, it's still pretty even. You remember these are bogs over here. Feldfeld's over here. Bogs men almost all have the same pants and filled for- Oh! What happened? He resigned. Right. He, yeah, he was losing the fight, he could see it. And even if he did win that fight, there's all this over here. It's good that, um... Fieldfield kept the replay going a little longer so that we actually knew for sure who would win the fight. And yeah, no, Fieldfield had more slingers. And more other things. Well, there you go. Hmm. So that's a three to two. Um, Feld Feld to Borg. Now, Feld Feld only needs to win one more game to take out this entire grand final. So, well, we will see how that goes. Whereas Borg needs to win two games in a row. That's a formidable task, especially against an opponent such as Feldfeld. Hmm. Interesting. What's he doing? Just still in the replay, just doing stuff. Alright, there it is. <laughs> okay. Ah, well. Micro and positioning. Garrisoning and positioning won that game. There's always been a pivotal thing, really, that's won each game. A building, a technique, a, you know. This, one, this time it was positioning and garrisoning. Great manual garrisoning. Hmm, that last fight must have just, wow, that's basically that last fight here. 
units killed. Look at this. And then that's when Borg left the game. <laughs> when Feld Feld had got about and killed about this many people. Yeah. He he that's when he could see, okay, I've lost. <laughs> Very interesting. Resources. No market. There was no time there was well, there was plenty of time for a market, but there was no opportunity. Certainly not. Kill death ratio. Right, yeah, right at the end and here when it really just yeah, the posi posi positioning. Feldfeld Feld positioned his units in the correct placement, and therefore he won the game. Uh, yeah, and I hope you have a good one, and peace.